to begin with the first question, in terms of surveillance, do you see similarities between today's world and the world predicted by Orwell in 1984? Any differences? Um, so first, let's begin with the similarities. Obviously, we are being watched by the government. Um, you know, there's not a lot of privacy in this world, in this digital age. And also, um, with the um, revelation that Edward Snowden... Um, Edward Snowden released information revealing that the government is watching us and they are they do have access to our calls, our emails, and they do have access um, to everything that we do online and the way we communicate with each other and that's kind of crazy. Um, um, so Edward Snowden revealed that. So it's obvious we don't really have a lot of privacy in this world. Um, and then there's also, I think, a big notion that um we don't have any privacy when we are online but that points out one of the major differences i think between you know orwell's um world and our world is that a good portion of our world is not necessarily the government that's trying to spy on us although yes they are but it's more um private corporations i believe that are trying to spy on us um like facebook how facebook uh, mark zuckerberg just got in a lot of trouble um because it was revealed that facebook was actually using our personal information that we gave to this site and selling it to um you know companies um so they can easily target um audiences to buying their product and that's you know found in every site that you use you know every site uses cookies to figure out your shopping patterns and try to sell you something and you know our internet searches they um private companies monitor that so they can try to sell you it so i think the main difference is that it's in today's world it's not necessarily government that's trying to control us i think it is the um private sector I think it's big businesses that are trying to control us and steal our information and monitor us so that they can you know sell a lot of of their product and get a lot of money so I think it's more corporate greed um that's more trying to follow us in surveillance if that makes sense um and also going on to the second question um could the information be actually watched in a way to monitor and control society? Um, I think it's also important to notice that I don't think it's actually possible. I don't think the government actually has that much control because we are a democracy. And democracy, its power comes from the masses. And so we can't have a one singular person trying to control us because, you know, democracy, the power comes from the people. So I don't think it's actually likely that... Um, someone will be able to monitor and control society because there's just so many people. And also, government doesn't have simply enough resources to do so, which is why, you know, a, a limited government um, can be beneficial. Okay, 